Deserts can be found on all continents. Yes, even Europe and Antarctica. In fact, the Antarctic Polar Desert is known as the largest in the entire globe. With that being said, these biomes and ecosystems hide a lot of secrets waiting to be discovered. As years passed by, archaeologists and scientists have discovered some of them. From a whale graveyard to a mythical lost city, here are the 20 strangest things found in the desert. Number 20. Mysterious Whale Graveyard There are a lot of tombs scattered all over the desert all around the world. Many fossils have been uncovered in these arid and bare regions. And yet, what researchers discovered in Chile's Atacama Desert might be the most surprising finds. They've uncovered over 75 whale fossils in the Atacama Desert's vast expanse. These ancient whale fossils, some as big as buses, were found more than half a mile from the ocean. The fossils were perfectly preserved, allowing scientists to study them closer. Scientists uncovered adult and juvenile baleen whales, a walrus whale, an extinct species of sperm whale, an extinct species of dolphin, and just maybe the remains of a seal or sea lion. But the question is, how did these ocean giants end up stranded in the middle of a desert? Some experts suggest that millions of years ago, when the desert was closer to the Pacific Ocean, a massive beaching event might have occurred. Alternatively, it's possible that the area was once a lagoon-like environment that somehow got cut off from the open ocean. Maybe it dried up, leaving the whales stranded, or a natural disaster like an earthquake or landslide sealed them off from the sea. It's all speculation at this point, but it's amazing to think about how the Earth's past could have shaped this incredible journey. Number 19. Oldest Surface on Earth Looking at this photo, you'd think that this is just another rough surface. But would you believe that this is the oldest surface on our planet? Discovered by experts from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, this pavement in Israel's Negev Desert was recently named the oldest surface on our planet, being exposed for a whopping 1.8 million years. This vast expanse of surface area is the oldest of its kind ever found. It's more than four times older than the next oldest desert pavement in Nevada. This desert pavement represents an entire surface that has remained almost untouched for millions of years. The dating was done using a specific isotope called 10BE, which helps determine how long something has been exposed. This ancient desert pavement shows us that in flat and arid regions with low tectonic activity, the surface can stay preserved for an unimaginable amount of time. This groundbreaking discovery sheds light on the preservation of Earth's surfaces in areas like the Sahara and Arabian deserts. Scientists are eager to explore other locations in these deserts to determine how far-fetching these old surfaces are. Who knows, an older surface might just be discovered in the years to come. Number 18. Bizarre Cone Patterns How would you feel if you saw this in the middle of the desert, away from any human settlement? You'd probably feel unnerved and think you've stumbled upon a mysterious portal or a doorway to a fantasy land. Or maybe, you'd think a madman went out of their way to create the pattern for their own enjoyment. Well, if you thought about the latter, then you'd be right, because while this pattern may be extremely strange and out of place in the desert, the origin of these patterns isn't unknown. But let's talk about the theory, shall we? Of course, these cone-shaped burrows in the desert sand were thought to be made by aliens by most people who saw them for the first time. Other theories go from supernatural entities to gods to a secret science experiment. But what exactly are these weird sand formations? This entire region is known as the Desert Breath. It's an enormous land art project that stretches over an area of 1 million square feet. That's equivalent to 17 football fields. The Desert Breath was made by three Greek artists known as the DAST Art Team. You see, what's different about this artwork is that it's dynamic. The artist created this installment knowing full well that in due time, the winds would bring back each grain of sand into its original position, flattening the surface of the Egyptian desert once again. Today, however, you can still marvel at this eye-catching artwork through satellite pictures on Google Earth. Number 17. 1,200-Year-Old Mansion The desert is probably the last place you'd expect to find a mansion, but archaeologists know all too well that luxury can be found anywhere on Earth. This place might have been everyone's dream home a long time ago. In 2022, researchers exploring Israel's Negev Desert announced the discovery of a magnificent mansion, a 1,200-year-old estate that belonged to a wealthy landowner during the early Islamic period. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, 
This sprawling property was likely the residence of a wealthy landowner overseeing farmsteads in the area. The entire estate was covered with finely colored frescoes. It had large ovens that were most likely used for big feasts centuries ago. One of the most surprising discoveries was made under the courtyard. A cistern, a three-meter-deep reservoir dug into the rock that provided the residents with cool water throughout the year, along with adjoining vaulted structures. These subterranean vaulted structures were used to store foodstuffs, enabling the residents to move around freely underground without having to emerge into the punishing sun. It was clear that the residents of this estate didn't encounter any problems obtaining food or water. This extraordinary estate sheds light on the high status and wealth of its owners. Imagine being powerful and rich enough to live comfortably in the middle of the desert. By studying the construction methods and architectural styles, as well as learning about daily life in the Negev at the beginning of Islamic rule, we can gain valuable insights into the history of this ancient site. Number 16. Ancient Mega Lake The Sahara Desert is one of the driest and hottest regions of our planet. Temperatures in this place can soar above 86 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, during the summer season, they can reach up to a dizzying 117 degrees. With that being said, who would have thought that beneath this massive dry land is a mega lake? In 2010, scientists announced an unexpected discovery. It turned out that more than 250,000 years ago, back when the Nile River was flourishing and its waters were abundant, it overflowed into a channel near a region known as Wadi Tushka. This stream of water flooded the eastern region of the Sahara Desert, quickly covering a staggering 42,000 miles of its sandy expanse. Scientists found this ancient mega lake using data from the Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. It was using this technology that they found windblown sediments and traces of running water in the sand. What's more, they also found fossil fish deposits about 800 feet above sea level, revealing a flourishing marine life in the Sahara hundreds of thousands of years ago. Now who would have thought? Number 15. An African Ghost Town From the Sahara, let's take a trip to the African desert. Our destination? A ghost town that time forgot. The hauntingly beautiful Kolmanskop. The story of this eerie town began and ended quickly. It all started with a railway worker who one day while doing his regular work discovered a diamond shimmering amidst the desert sand. This discovery didn't remain a secret for long, as word spread, attracting fortune seekers from far and wide. In a blink, a bustling town sprouted amidst the arid Namib desert, filled with grand buildings, houses, a hospital, and even a ballroom. However, as the diamonds ran out, so did the people of Kolmanskop. The settlement's prosperity began to fade when the diamond fields started to run dry. Further diamond discoveries to the south were the final straw that broke the camel's back. In the pursuit of newfound riches, residents began leaving, and the once prosperous town was slowly abandoned. Now if you visit Kolmanskop today, it's a stark contrast from its heyday. The desert, which once generously offered diamonds, has taken over the town. Grand homes that once stood proudly now lay buried in sand, almost like an open-air museum that shows how temporary human interest is. Number 14. Desert Kites In 2022, Archaeologists discovered a religious site in the heart of the Jordanian desert. It was found nestled among the Kashabiya Mountains in the eastern Al Jafar Basin. The site had its own guardians, two imposing standing stones etched with humanoid figures. An altar, a hearth, and over 150 marine fossils were among the precious relics found, each more mysterious than the last. But perhaps the most intriguing discovery was a desert kite an old but clever contraption our ancestors used to trap and take down wild gazelles. Now you might think the name of this ancient trap is strange. Well, here's a fun fact. It was coined by the Royal Air Force pilots who flew over these structures in the 1960s. They thought they resembled kites from the air. Even T.E. Lawrence, the legendary Lawrence of Arabia, had spotted these stone traps, although he couldn't quite put his finger on their purpose back when he first spotted them. This sacred place was more than just a hunting aid. It symbolized their existence, a vital part of their economic and cultural life. In their day, these ingenious hunters lived in circular, semi-subterranean huts, contrasting starkly with their farming and herding neighbors in the nearby Fertile Crescent. Dating back to around 7000 BCE, this shrine predates even Stonehenge by a whopping 4,000 years. However, it's not the oldest shrine or site we've discovered. That title goes to Gobekli Tepe in southeastern Turkey, 
which dates back to roughly between 9500 and 8000 BCE. Even without that title, however, these kites remained one of the most intriguing finds in the desert. Number 13. The Ancient Fortress in the Sahara Once again, picture the Sahara Desert. Vast expanses of sand dunes stretch out as far as the eye can see. You might think this region is a barren landscape, but archaeologists discovered something hidden in its expanse. Ancient fortress cities known as Kassars. These formidable structures, which include cities like Jabba, Jado, and Fachi, date back several hundred years. Their original purpose? They were bulwarks against marauding nomadic tribes, including the Tarig, Arab, and Tubu. Strategically located within oases of palms and date trees, these fortresses were not just shields against enemy raids, but also thriving hubs where life could flourish amidst the harsh desert. Constructed from salt and clay, these fortress cities perch atop rock formations, providing a strategic vantage point against potential invaders. But time, as it often does, changed the course of their history. By the early 20th century, when European explorers first set foot in these regions, the necessity for these Kassars had dwindled. Gradually, they were abandoned and left to decay. Today, many of these once mighty fortresses are little more than ruins. Unfortunately, due to ongoing conflict in the surrounding regions, Niger's fortress cities have remained largely off the tourist radar since 2002. Number 12. 2,000-year-old Roman-era military camp A team of Oxford University researchers have discovered military camps in Saudi Arabia's desert that can be traced back to the Roman era, almost 2,000 years ago. The existence of these camps provides compelling evidence of a Roman campaign stretching from southeast Jordan into Saudi Arabia during the second century. Historically, this corresponds to the period when Rome began its conquest of the Nabataean Kingdom in Jordan around 106 AD. Experts claim that these camps are significant because they served as important points in the Roman Empire's victories thousands of years ago. Researchers claim that these camps were likely the domain of the Roman cavalry, who ventured and monitored the desert landscapes on top of camels, ensuring that the perimeter was free of enemies. Number 11. Bizarre Patterns in the Gobi Desert Recently, these patterns discovered via Google Maps sparked several wild speculations all over the globe. These strange patterns were found in the endless expanse of China's Gobi Desert. Theories range from suspected weapons testing sites and satellite calibration targets to wilder ideas of street maps mirroring Washington, D.C., New York City, or even extraterrestrial messages. Experts from NASA claimed that these puzzling zigzagging lines are calibration targets for China's spy satellites. These artificial grids, measuring roughly 0.65 miles wide by 1.15 miles long, serve as focus points for satellite cameras, helping them maintain orientation in the vast void of space. Now that sounds pretty alarming considering these satellites are dubbed spies. But this is something normal. You see, China, like many other nations, including the US, operates spy satellites and uses similar calibration targets. Hill even points to a calibration target used by the U.S.'s Corona spy satellites, set up in the 1960s in Casa Grande, Arizona. Patterns used for orbital radar instruments were also found in the desert, which warrants a worrisome reaction. Experts claim these patterns are used to develop methods to camouflage their military operations from foreign satellites. However, since this data remains confidential, we're still unsure about what else happens in the Gobi Desert. Number 10 ancient burial boat. In 2016, Czech archaeologists discovered a magnificent ancient funerary boat, remarkably preserved and interred in a mudbrick mastaba or tomb. At 62 feet long, this discovery wasn't just a mere relic, but an ancient vessel dating back over 4,500 years. What made it even more fascinating was that the boat remained intact, with its wooden planks and pegs visibly in their original places. Even after all these millennia, in fact, the boat even had remnants of plant fiber battens that once secured its seams and some ropes that held the structure together. The boat's incredible preservation offers a rare glimpse into the ancient past, as most other ancient Egyptian boats have survived in poor conditions or were dismantled. You might be wondering, why bury boats in tombs? This practice, known as boat burials, started in Egypt's early dynastic period and was believed to be exclusively for royal family members. Yet, this particular boat found within the Abusir necropolis wasn't positioned close enough to a royal pyramid to suggest royal ownership. However, 
The tomb's size hinted at an elite individual, implying the practice might have been more widespread than previously thought. Number 9. The Arabian Stonehenge Here's another great discovery in 2016, Arabia's very own Stonehenge. It turned out that a long time ago, there were hundreds if not thousands of trillets all over the Arabian Peninsula. These stone structures are made up of two upright stones with a third one on top of them, similar to the stone structures making up Stonehenge in Europe. Initial research estimates that these rocks date back 2,000 years. However, a lot of questions remain. Who built them? What purpose did they serve? These questions remain unanswered, but the archaeologists use satellite images to locate these enigmatic structures and are optimistic that radiocarbon dating may reveal some clues. Researchers aim to learn more about this area as excavations continue next year and answer all these questions. For now, we can only speculate. Number 8. Sand Cats Your house cat might not look and act like it, but believe me or not, cats are nature's very own killing machines. Yep, house cats that run away at the sight of cucumbers are considered one of the best predators on the planet. House cats might be smaller than their cousins in the wild, but let me tell you that size doesn't matter at all for these creatures. After all, one of their relatives survives in one of the harshest and most extreme environments on Earth, despite being 22 inches long. This is one of the best predators living in the desert, the sand cat. I know, I know, this little fella looks like a kitten and not a full-grown predator. But trust me, don't let their cuteness fool you. The sand cat, also known as Felis margarita, is a master of survival. These little felines have adapted to thrive in the arid deserts of North Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia, where temperatures can soar and water is scarce. With their thick fur and unique foot pads, they've evolved to handle scorching desert sands without breaking a sweat. These specialized foot pads also allow them to move effortlessly and silently across the desert terrain, making them elusive and efficient hunters. Sand cats have developed exceptional hunting skills to survive in such challenging conditions. They're skilled at catching fast-moving desert rodents, birds, and insects, making the most of any food source they can find. Their sharp senses and keen eyesight make them formidable predators, even during the darkest desert nights. So if you ever spot one in the desert, don't even try to pick one up, or you'd end up taking home a demonic fiend with you. Number 7. The Oldest Astronomical Site in the World this monument, known as the Nabta Playa, predates Stonehenge by at least 2,000 years. It lies in a region now part of modern-day Sudan, about 700 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Although there's a large gap between the construction of the two structures, both are shrouded in mystery. Nabta Playa is believed to have been constructed by a nomadic cattle-worshipping cult, who used it to mark the summer solstice and the arrival of the monsoons. These seasonal markers would have been crucial for these nomads, guiding them on when to move their herds for the best grazing. But the site was more than a mere calendar. Experts claimed that the Nabda Playa is a significant site where humans first tried to make some serious connection with the heavens. However, not everyone agrees with this theory. Some propose that it was a ceremonial site for rituals related to death and rebirth, while some believe it was built merely as a place for human sacrifice. To this day, the Nabda Playa's real purpose remains unknown. Number 6. World's Largest Geoglyphs You've probably seen the Nazca Lines, be it in pictures or in person. Regardless, you know just how incredible these geoglyphs are. For years, these patterns etched on the ground have captivated the entire world. Now imagine the questions and awe surrounding the largest geoglyph on Earth, or at least, the largest we've discovered so far. The researchers identified eight Thar Desert Geoglyph sites. These are clear-cut geometrical lines and arranged motifs, covering an astonishing area of over 24 acres. They easily surpass the previous record held by the Marie Man in Australia, which stretches 2.6 miles. These geoglyphs in the Thar Desert are so vast that their creators would likely have never fully appreciated the extent of the artworks they had made. As with many such ancient artworks, interpretations of the geoglyphs' purpose and meaning are primarily speculative. The researchers propose that these geoglyphs might commemorate a significant celestial event observed locally. They also suggested that the symbols could hold religious or cosmological meanings. Number 5. Stone Tools Predating Humans Now I know this sounds bizarre, and it doesn't make sense. 
Stone tools that predate humans? So then, who made them? That's the exact question of the experts themselves. The oldest stone tools we've discovered might have been made by an unknown species that we have yet to study. These valuable artifacts were discovered by scientists in 2011 in the Kenyan desert. They unearthed 149 stone artifacts, skillfully handcrafted, that dated back an astonishing 3.3 million years. To put that in perspective, this predates any known human ancestor we've identified so far. These artisans of the past had the cognitive and physical ability to skillfully shape stones into razor-sharp tools, using a technique we now refer to as napping. They might have belonged to a pre-human group, or possibly a different capable species entirely unrelated to humans. Experts believe that this unknown species, just like the earliest ancestors we know of, created these tools solely for survival. As they say, it's the survival of the fittest on Earth. The need to eat and sustain themselves may have driven the earliest humans to create these tools to hunt and obtain meat. Number 4. The Roswell Balloon Of course, amongst the many things that are allegedly hidden by the desert sands are extraterrestrial creatures. One particular story claims that aliens have visited Earth, particularly Roswell, in the 1900s. In the summer of 1947, a rancher named W. W. Mac Brazel, along with his son Vernon, stumbled upon an odd sight on their ranch. They found an extensive stretch of peculiar debris, composed of rubber strips, tinfoil, durable paper, and sticks, scattered across the desert landscape of New Mexico. These were allegedly marks of the first alien visit. This sighting was then publicized and made it into local news, igniting claims of UFO sightings in the area. What's more bizarre is the fact that even before the news came out, claims of alien activity were already rampant in the area. Could it be that to this day, Roswell remains the hiding place of creatures that aren't from our planet? Number 3. Mummified Parrots In the desert region of northern Chile, Archaeologists discovered mummified parrots that date all the way back to 1000 to 1460 BC. In the past, people transported parrots as pets. People would transport these animals distances of over 300 miles. Today, most people can buy a parrot given they have enough money, but in the past, these birds could only be obtained by the wealthy in the desert regions of modern-day Chile. And so, expectedly, these birds were given excellent treatment, even as they passed in the afterlife. Now, you would think that these birds were prized for their ability to imitate sound or their appearance. In truth, wealthy and influential people of the past were interested in their feathers. For this reason, the mummified remains of these birds discovered by archaeologists were featherless. Birds were left with their mouths open, some even with their tongues sticking out, and others had their wings spread, symbolizing their last flight. The reasons behind these strange practices remain a mystery. Before they perished, their feathers were used for ceremonies and rites. It's a sad reality, but it's evident that these mummified parrots led a less than ideal life, being taken from their homes, turned into pets, and having their feathers plucked. Their preservation has shed light on rituals and practices from over 900 years ago. Number 2. Egyptian Coins Archaeologists discovered a treasure trove of coins that dates back nearly 2,200 years old in the Egyptian desert. These coins were found in the very same place where a lot of significant battles took place, including the Jewish Revolt. Most of the coins discovered were minted by the Macedonian King Ptolemy VI Philometer, the eldest son of King Ptolemy V and Queen Cleopatra I. Experts claim that these silver coins are among the only pieces of evidence of the Maccabean Revolt that occurred from 167 to 160 BC. It was between the Jews and the Seleucid Empire that once ruled modern-day Iran and Iraq. This battle was driven by religious persecution and Hellenistic influences on Jewish life and practices. The existence of the coins in caves showed how the Maccabees hid to save themselves from being persecuted by the Empire. In the end, however, the Maccabees eventually regained control of Jerusalem and rededicated the temple. This event is celebrated in the Jewish festival of Hanukkah. And now it's time for today's topic. It's safe to say that there are a lot of mysterious things hidden beneath the desert sands all over our planet. The Sahara and the Nubian Desert are among the most explored. And yet, archaeologists and researchers continue to uncover unprecedented artifacts and ruins in these regions. Recently, Another team of explorers went to study the Egyptian desert and announced a discovery in the desert that has scared the world. 
there are rumors that a massive dragon fossil was discovered in the Egyptian desert. According to some accounts, a group of archaeologists stumbled upon a set of ancient bones that resembled the remains of the mythical being while trying to excavate the tomb. To this day, however, this discovery remains shrouded in mystery. Number 1. The Mythical Lost City of Kedan During the Second World War, a Royal Air Force pilot saw something strange in the Arabian desert. While flying a routine cargo mission from Salala Oman to Muscat, he lost his way. Instead of flying east, he flew north, deep into the vast desert landscape of the empty quarter. He was several hours into the journey, when amidst the endless desert, he spotted a sight that puzzled him. There, in the middle of nowhere, stood the remnants of what appeared to be a small town. This curious settlement was perched atop a steep hill, seemingly offering a natural defensive advantage. Despite its fortress-like structures, the town seemed abandoned, devoid of any signs of life. Unable to land in the ruins, this alleged abandoned fortress remained unexplored. Today, many believe that this ancient structure is actually the mythical lost city of Kedan. The story goes that Kedan is a lost city ruled by a king. Unfortunately, this alleged fortress was never seen again. After all, despite the satellites we have today, it's still difficult to pinpoint a small cluster of buildings in a desert spanning 250,000 square miles. Is the ancient city of Kedan really out there? Or is it nothing but a hoax? Now who knows what other things lurk in the desert? Did we miss any desert discoveries? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.